Blackpool is a city in the northeast of England with a population of 260,000. It has recently been awarded 2017 City of Culture. High percentage of young people not in education, employment or training have left low levels of aspiration. The city has already done much to reduce inequality and address deprivation, but with recent budget cuts there is still much work to be done. Most of the people arrive to hold the impression is school is dirty. Hopeless. Dog. For me it's inclusive. Diverse. I think uh, Hull is changing. It's quite diverse and uh, I think there's a, a passion for, for, for um, the change and everybody working together. The Rank Foundation and Esme Furban Foundations have come together to put one and a half million pounds over three years into the city. The funding aims are really to make Hull a better place. The city has unfortunately over the last 30 years suffered an awful lot of deprivation and the social conditions here uh, really required some investment. Uh, the two funders have come in and have given an opportunity for a number of projects to really work very effectively um, throughout the entire city. The funding supports 21 organisations across the city and is split into four main themes better communities, diverse and re activities, encouraging enterprise and restorative practice. Better Communities aims to work with local residents to fulfil their needs and encourage stronger partnerships. My name is Birgitta Laszlo, I work for HANA, Humber All Nations Alliance. My project is the Eastern European Project and I am the Eastern European Champion. <laughs> Without the fund from Rank and Esme Ferben, this project wouldn't exist. Eastern Europeans need a lot of uh, support to access uh, services. For some, I help uh, who, who have a language problem, I help with the, with the language. For some, I help uh, fill out uh, application forms. But uh, most of the people, I signpost them to the, to the right place where they can get the support what they needed. Diversionary activities are a range of responsive and targeted activities working in conjunction with the community. Um, the project I'm involved in is the Mighty Acorns project, which involves uh, seven different sites and it's an allotment project. So we're looking at getting 12 children uh, who are maybe less disadvantaged um, and they're getting involved in the, in the allotment. This is the uh, Unity and Community allotment. Right at the start of this uh, project, when I first came around here, this was all rough ground, which all needed to be uh, rotivated and uh, divided into little plots. Um, as you can see now, it's all been planted out and it's now got the uh, products growing. Over the last few months, we had a spate of burglaries on the allotments. After speaking to the offenders and then admitting the offence, we decided to deal with them restoratively. So what we got them to do was come onto the allotment site. They've done all the manual work, digging it over, moving the pavers, putting the paths down for us. And we did this rather than deal with them through the criminal route, rather than them getting a uh, criminal record. Before we had the funding support, we weren't able to do this on every different area within Hull. We only had one site. So the, the funded support has basically given us the opportunity to, to expand this project uh, because of the positive results, uh, and also get involved with uh, other agencies as well. The on-site project is a great example of partnerships coming together. Um, we work locally with Hull FC and Hull KR, the two rugby clubs, and uh, the local authorities and the police, the fire brigade, youth clubs within that area all sort of come together to strengthen the partnership. Basically what we're doing is trying to engage with the local community, so basically give them somewhere to go, um, somewhere positive, uh, connect them with sport, keep them healthy, fit and basically just try to keep them off street, getting into trouble and things like that, somewhere for them to go on a Friday and Saturday evening. Because we're actually based in East Hull, um, it is an area of um, deprivation, so w this is why we actually do quite well here in connecting with the young people. Um, the other two projects are both running areas of deprivation. We weren't able to actually run this project uh, prior to uh, the funders coming in, so this has enabled us to expand on what we already do. 
Restorative practice is an effective way of resolving conflicts. It is used across the criminal justice system as well as the wider community. So my name is Nicola Lamb, I'm the Centre Manager for the Together Women Project. The Together Women Project work with women that are uh, women with multiple and complex needs, vulnerable women, women that are in the criminal justice system, women that are at risk of offending, um, to support them with a variety of issues to reduce the risk of them re-offending and equip them with further skills to um, develop within their lives. So because of the Rankin Esme Fairburn Development Fund, we're now networking and working alongside organisations that we wouldn't normally have come across before. For instance, we're working alongside Hull FC Community Development Programme and initially we didn't know anything about this programme and it's something that we would never have come across. And through the um, networks with the Rank Foundation, we've made some really good links with them and they are now working at the Together Women Project two days a week delivering an employability course for our women. And women that generally probably wouldn't have access to course within a sporting environment because it's so male dominated and because of various other issues um, that women face. Encouraging Enterprise aims to improve employment prospects by enabling personal development and access to training. My name is Matt Woodley, I'm a job ambassador for the Prince's Trust. So my role is to work with the community, get out and meet local people and help get young people 16 to 30s into work, education and training. So a lot of younger people with low, low confidence, low self-esteem start to skyrocket if you like. I've seen people who have spent the last few years in factories, on job seekers, going to employment with good employers. Like I say, with confidence, people have just they're opened up, so I feel like I'm having a good impact. The more funding we've got, the more I can do, so it just helps me get out there more and do more. The Time Shine Internship Programme is an opportunity for young people with skills, talent and ambition to gain valuable work experience within a Rank Foundation funded charity. I'm Deborah, I was Time to Shine 2013 and I work with an organisation called Search. Without the Rank and Esme Fairburn funding, I would not be as far, as far on as I am now. I've got a lot more experience, I've got an amazing year to talk about. I, I just wouldn't have as much as I have now. I'd probably still be claiming benefits and at home, trying to find a job, trying to get experience. And it really is tough out there, so without it, I, would, I wouldn't be anywhere. <laughs> The Hull Community Development Programme encourages participating organisations to network, support each other and form partnerships to improve the life chances and experiences of the residents of Hull. Through the regular steering groups we meet people that we wouldn't normally meet, different organisations that can offer more opportunities to our women that are accessing our services. The funders are very good and supporting us, they've actually helped us with the evaluation and, you know, and the monitoring of the um, project um, so, and we can actually then see the whole of the other projects as well and their evaluation, it would be, be wonderful to see the impact that we actually have over the three years in the whole of Hull. Together they inspire local people to partake in community activities and make positive changes. One of the things that I've noticed is the fact that actually funding, a concentration of funding in one place seems to be having a, magni a magnifying effect on the benefits you can actually achieve. The fact that the projects, which are very diverse, have come together to work in such a mutually beneficial way I think is making a huge difference and the outcomes are going to be beyond, I think, certainly my expectations when it started. It's opened up bigger doors for me, more opportunities. Forward thinking. Positive developments. Brilliant. Overwhelming. Magnificent. Uh, exceptional. <laughs>